Okay, anyway, hopefully I'm in frame. Um, today is, uh, what is today? Today is Saturday, November 9th. Um, it is 11.52 a.m. Um, I haven't done anything this morning. I'm still in Milan, but um, I was supposed to have gotten up and kind of finished doing some pictures. From one of the experiences that I had but I was I mean I fell asleep really late and to do that experience I would have to have gotten up I would have to have like met the girl at like 7 30 8 a.m. so the plan for today I don't know I've been up since 10 o'clock it's almost 12 o'clock honestly I've been watching Netflix ate some chips um had some water soda whatever and yeah I just, when I go on a trip, honestly, I want to relax, I'll be honest. And I will see you guys later today, hopefully, if I do something. If not, then this might be the end of this vlog, unfortunately. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. So, I'm out here walking to the Cimitero Monumentale, um, I think it just means Monumental Cemetery. It was on a place that I should see or places to visit while in Milan, so that's why I'm going. I'm tired. Um, it is cold out here, but walking is making me sweat, um, but yeah, that's where I'm on my way to. And I will see you guys when I get there. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much at the place. It's a little windy. So sorry if you cannot hear me. Um, you can probably see it in the background, but this is pretty much it. I just got to figure out how to get inside. I kind of want to get closer to the middle. So it's like a front, of, like a full on front picture. Here is the place. Once again, it's called um, Cimitero Monumentale, and that just means Monumental Cemetery. And it is, I mean, it's massive. I see people inside, so I'm figuring you gotta pay to get inside, which is fine. I um, just gotta figure out, oh well, I'm assuming it's over that way, but yeah, this is the whole place. So I said something about having to pay to get in, but I don't think you do. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything. This is all it says. And there you go. Cimitero Monumentale. That with the times and everything, it doesn't say like price-wise, so I don't know. But I am inside. Okay, so I did look it up about um, the Monumental Cemetery, and it just says it's one of the two largest cemeteries in Milan, and it's noted for the abundance of artistic tombs and monuments, and I can see why, um, just looking at kind of how they are, these are not like your regular, like head, head what do they call it, headstones, 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 um, but yeah this camera angle and I don't feel, feel completely weird about recording because everybody has their phones taking pictures recording stuff but yeah I'm just gonna walk around don't really want to record much because it is just a cemetery not just a cemetery but it is a cemetery so I'll see you guys later
Okay, so I'm just sitting down now about to kind of put my camera up and stuff, I think, because I can't stay out as long as I had planned on because I forgot my freaking um, cord to be able to charge up my phone while I'm out because my phone, well, yeah, for one, I stayed in longer and I didn't leave till like 2.30, 3 o'clock. So my phone is already dying because I was on my phone all morning and I didn't think about it. So that's all I'm doing right now. I'm just about to put my stuff up and then probably get ready to go Maybe go to one other place and then just head back to the Airbnb. So I decided I really want to get to this last one or two places before my phone dies, but I'm only on 16%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the instructions on how to get back to my Airbnb on my phone and then take a picture of, use my camera and take a picture of the directions so I know how to get back. Um, the only thing is if I wanted to take a taxi or something, I can't, so I'll have to use public transportation. Um... Also, if the people that I had dinner with last night, if they can't get in touch with me, then I can't meet them. So, I don't know. I just can't believe I forgot my charger this one day, the day that my phone is actually going to die, that I might actually need it. That just scared the mess out of me just now. But, yeah, so I'm about to go ahead and just get started walking to the next place because I think it's pretty close. Um, yeah, hopefully my phone won't die. I didn't realize it's almost 5 o'clock anyway, so... I'll see you guys at the next place. Okay. So I pretty much made it to the park. Um, I mean, it's a really nice park, but I can't really stay long because my phone is on 10% now. And it's 5.10 and it's already getting dark, so I'm just about to go ahead and leave. But I'm glad I at least made it here. I wish, like, this whole area, I went through Chinatown, too. Um, yes, an area called Chinatown, and I went through it, and I wish I would have known about this whole area before today, since I'm getting ready to... Well, this is my last day here, and yeah, I'm just about to head back to the Airbnb at this point, and yeah, charge up my phone, and maybe I can get it charged up a little bit, and I don't know if I'll meet the couple from last night who I had dinner with or not, but we'll see. If not, um, yeah, I'll just check back with you guys later, and yeah. In case this is my last, like, view of Milan. <laughs> just in case it is I'm waiting on the taxi right now um, I've been using this app called free now I think or something but this is what I have to deal with when I'm waiting for it it says searching for driver it won't focus I don't know why yes it won't focus whatever um, I'm just waiting for a taxi though outside of the park and yeah my phone is on 10% but I figured trying to f navigate through the bus system and all that it would be better off just getting a taxi if it don't take forever which it took too long last time and I canceled it so we shall see okay so my phone is now on 5% and using that app free now I had to cancel a taxi because it just kept taking way too long so I'm about to have to try and make my phone survive off of 5% even though public transportation I checked was going to take about 40 minutes to get there and a taxi would have only taken about 18 minutes to get there so but I can't get like nobody's picking it up and it's taking too long my phone is like dying so okay so it's almost 6 p.m. now. I'm still out trying to get back to the Airbnb. I waited and waited and waited for the bus to come. It never came and I wasn't by myself. There was a whole bunch of people waiting there until a man walked by and was like, I mean, it was in Italian so I didn't understand what he was saying, but I could tell he was like, like, no, the bus isn't going to come here. I was like, you gotta walk somewhere else, I think, but I couldn't tell what he was saying but I could tell he was saying it wasn't coming and he was pointing in like another direction or something so my phone is still about to die so I try to take a picture um using my camera to take a picture of the directions on my phone and now I'm walking because I can't plug in my phone anywhere because I don't have the cord and if I had the cord I could just use my portable charger because it's charged but I just forgot the freaking cord so I'm out here just trying to figure out how to get back or find somewhere where I can buy a cord to charge my phone 
and I'm cold and my nose is freezing. My nose is running, but I'll let you know how everything goes, I guess. My phone died and um, the whole plan that I had to use my picture from my camera did not work because I had already gotten lost. So yeah, I started walking, ended up in the, I think it's called Brera District. Um, yeah, and I just could not figure out where to go with my phone being dead. So I luckily was able to ask somebody, um, I guess like for some, trying to figure out where to get a charger, just the cable, because like I said, I left mine at home and I was able to find one. Um, somebody, oh, they're playing with little toys over there that like shoots up. But um, I was able to find, literally there's an Apple store around the corner, so I ended up having to buy the cable that was 25 pounds. So now, instead of trying, well, my phone is charging up now, finally, it's back on. But instead of trying to find, or instead of getting a taxi or, or trying to catch the bus, I'm just walking because I didn't spend that 25 euros. I said 25 pounds, I think, a second ago. But yeah, the 25 euros is spent, so I'm not about to try and find or like pay for pay for anything else. So I'm just walking. I still have 34 minutes walk, but it's fine. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm tired of walking now though, but yeah, I still have a little while to go. I'm gonna just keep walking and I'll kind of update you guys. I guess everything that happened maybe. It's not that important, but yeah, this is where I'm at right now. It's really pretty though. I guess I'm kind of glad I got lost a little bit at least. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay, I didn't realize where I was, but apparently I'm near the Duomo. So I'm gonna just go see it one last time at night. I just wanted to see it one last time in person. Um, and then I'm gonna get back on the path because I'm just ready to get back to the Airbnb now. I'm not even hungry, I just wanna go to sleep, hop on a plane tomorrow and get back to London, even though I love Italy. But yeah, this is it. Somehow, I got lost. I got lost and this is where I ended up, so yeah. But it's time to go now, so I'll see you guys at the Airbnb. Okay, y'all. So, I'm back at my Airbnb. Um, got a bump, but whatever. So I ended up meeting with a couple from yesterday who um, did the experience on Airbnb, um, the cooking thing, and I met with them, and we went to, I think it was called Bottega di Vino, I think, um, it's a wine place, my eyes look so puffy right now, but they always look like that, anyway, we went to some kind of, I can't right now. Okay, hey y'all, so don't mind the bump on my face if you can see it. Um, okay, I'm tired, I'm so tired. Um, I've met the people from last night, the couple. Um, I met them because I wanted to make sure I got a good bottle of wine to take back to London and we went ahead and had a bottle of wine together um, myself and then them to the couple. It was really good. Um, yeah, we did that at this place called, I want to say it was called Bottega Divino. We had a wine. I drank more than I probably should have. I'm like a tiny bit tipsy right now, but I'm fine. I just got back to the Airbnb. Like, I know I'm not drunk because I made it back to the Airbnb, okay? I don't even think, even if I was drunk, I feel like I have too much self-control to, like, not keep it together. 
especially being in another country. So I'm back at the Airbnb. Still got my clothes on. Like I literally just got here. I had to use the bathroom real quick because yeah, you drink it makes you have to go to the bathroom. So I had to go to the bathroom. Still got my clothes on. I'm so out of breath. But yeah, I must just change into my night clothes and try to get myself together to make sure I have all my stuff together for tomorrow. Cause, um, I'm about to, yeah, I'm changing into my night clothes. I'm about to try to get all my crap together. So that way the only thing I have to do in the morning is switch my clothes, put my dirty clothes in my suitcase, and then pretty much make sure I'm heading out. Um, I didn't plan on staying out as late as I did. Um, I'll do maybe a closing thing once I'm back in London because I gotta get myself together and make sure I got I have all my stuff together tonight so I can leave on time in the morning. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So I will see you guys um in London when I do a recap of maybe the whole seven day trip I guess and I will see you then. I'm at the bus stop. I, um, I missed my first bus by literally like one minute. I told myself, I was like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and go out because there's a bus coming sooner. But then I realized it was taking me so long to get out that I only had like four minutes to get to the bus stop. And right when I was coming around, um, yeah, the bus was get, literally pulling off. So, so yeah, that's all I'm doing now. I'm finally back. I am finally freaking back. There we go. There we go. So, um, before I kind of, I didn't want to like get situated. I just kind of want to go ahead and do my final thoughts of the whole trip and the second half of the Italy portion. Um, I've said it before and I don't want to keep saying it. Solo traveling is great, but me being the type of person that I am, um, it made me very tired um yeah i had me very tired i'm um, just trying to figure out stuff on my own um yeah so but overall it was a really good trip i want to go back to switzerland either when it's really like cold like it's like when it's the winter season for them or when it's warmer and there's like more to do and you can actually enjoy being outside um because i kind of went at like I even checked, apparently November isn't the best time to go to um, Switzerland, but it's fine. I had a good time overall. Um, of course, the <clears throat> of course the last day I try to do something, I get lost, but it's fine. I made it to my hotel that night. I'm here now, so everything was good. Um, Switzerland was good, I, but yeah, I definitely want to go back. Um, Italy, what can I say about Italy? I love Italy. I, I think it's because it's my first love. Oh, I need to water my plants. I'm glad I'm looking at them now. Yeah. Um, Italy, my first love, the first country I ever traveled to. I still love it. Um, and of course, I will continue to go back because Italy is, is I mean, I haven't seen all of Italy, so why not? Um, I feel like Italy, I did more like activities versus sightseeing. And like I did more things like I guess involving some local people versus Switzerland. I feel like I did more sightseeing, but not any like experiences involving locals. So, I mean, I guess yeah, I got different things out of each place, but they were both still really good. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this footage. My first kind of travel vlog. I don't know how I'm about to put this together because I don't know exactly what I recorded. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm hoping to be able to do more of these. Um, I won't be traveling that much until next year. This year, I'm going back, um, or well, next month, I'll be back home for Christmas, so I'll probably vlog a little bit of that. It's not, I mean, it's, I like my home, so I'll record some stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, I'll just see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it once again. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.